North Korea continues to fuel fears of World War III as Beijing and Moscow supply vital fuel to Pyongyang despite UN sanctions. Mr. Watchell said Kim Jong-un's only allies are strategically powering the North Korean crisis to keep the United States on its toes. He said, geopolitically it's helpful for them because they have yet another tool in their box to be able to pressure the United States and put us at unease, there's a level of irresponsibility here, obviously. We wouldn't have this problem, one could easily argue, if Moscow and Beijing really clamped down and didn't provide fueled other lifelines to the North Korean regime, Getty North Korea, Jonathan Wessel said China and Russia are fueling tension with Washington. D.C. The former U.S. spokesman to the U.N. warned China and Russia continue to defy sanctions to limit the strength of U.S. allies in East Asia, and to instill World War III concerns in key competitors Japan and South Korea. Speaking to Fox News, Mr. Watchell continued, they want this to be going on. The other thing that they gain from this is trying to contain geopolitical strength in the region itself. South Korea is economically strong, it's a competitor. Japan is economically strong, there are territorial disputes between Russia and Japan, China has issues, historically, with Japan. So there are various things going on here. It comes after experts warned the United States should prepare to fight off not only the Kim regime but also China and Russia. They have yet another tool in their box to be able to pressure the United States and put us at unease. Jonathan Weck, the least Asian expert, Gordon Chang said Beijing had already signaled it would side with Pyongyang in a conflict despite pledging to help defuse tension with North Korea and the international community. Mr. Chang said, I think you need to have an honest conversation with the American people. That honest conversation has to take into account that we could end up in a war not only with North Korea but with its big power sponsor China, and maybe even Russia. China was recently caught allowing oil to enter North Korea in spite of widely approved United Nations sanctions forbidding oil trade with Pyongyang. U.S. President Donald Trump slammed China for its double-edged behavior, saying he was disappointed by Beijing.